Hello guys, welcome to Gadget Ball. After a relatively quiet start to the year, Xiaomi is once again targeting the entry-level segment with the Redmi Y2. Although the device is launching just 6 months after the debut of the Redmi Y1, the Y2 is an amid cycle refresh. It offers comprehensive upgrades in key areas, including an 18 by 9 aspect ratio, Snapdragon 625, and dual rear cameras. What makes the device that much more enticing is that the fact that it retails for just 9,999 rupee. We've seen devices in recent months that challenged Xiaomi's position in this category, notably the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1, but with the Y2, the brand is reasserting its dominance. The Redmi Y2 doesn't quite go up against the M1, but it is one of the most affordable devices in the market to feature the Snapdragon 625 and dual cameras. With the Redmi Y2 now featuring an 18 by 9 panel, there are smaller bezels at the top and bottom of the display, and the phone has 6 inch screen in roughly a similar chassis as the 5.5 inch Y1. The display was flush with the body on the Redmi Y1, but the Y2 sees the panel just out considerably from the mid frame. The screen itself is about the same as what we've seen last year, but taller because of the switch to the 18.9 from Factor. The 5.99 inch 720 panel offers vibrant colors, and you can adjust the color balance from the settings. And I had zero issues reading the contents of the screen under harsh sunlight. Xiaomi has been making decent IPS LCD panels in this category for a few generations now. Xiaomi is still using a polycarbonate pack with a metal mid frame, and the overall fit and finish is top notch. The design itself is slightly altered, and the antenna bands no longer intersect the camera module. Instead, they run along the top and bottom edges of the phone, giving it a cleaner look at the back. The phone also comes with a dual SIM card slot and a dedicated microSD card slot, so you don't have to choose between a secondary SIM or an SD card. The Redmi Y2 comes with the MIUI 9.5 out of the box, which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo. A new feature addition in the MIUI 9.5 is gestures, which let you disable the nav bar and use a gesture-driven interface similar to that of the iPhone X. Gestures work the following way. Swipe up from the bottom center of the screen to go to the home screen. Swipe up and hold halfway to pull up the overview panel and swipe up from either edge of the display to go back in an app. Xiaomi isn't the first manufacturer to roll out gestures, but MIUI 9.5 makes them more accessible to a wider range of budget devices. Other changes in MIUI 9.5 include easier restore options, and the interface feels more polished from previous versions. The dual camera sensor is arrayed vertically, and like the Redmi Note 5 Pro, it looks a lot like the iPhone X. Although the phone has dual 12 plus 5 megapixel sensors with the secondary camera facilitating portrait mode, the feature is still finicky. The primary camera has received an upgrade, and a larger 1.25 micron pixel size lets in more light, leading to better photos in daylight conditions. The 16 megapixel front camera uses pixel binning to produce more detailed photos. And one feature I'm excited about is the face unlock. Xiaomi's upfront about the fact that its face unlock tag isn't as secure as using a pin, and there were a few times where the system failed in low light conditions. That said, it is a convenient feature addition that works great for the most part. But what do you guys think? Leave us your opinion in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe for more info and updates. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time.